Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Joe Weiki and Ho Yifen. This is a game from the Chinese Championship played in 2010. Did you know that Joe Weiki was the equal first winner of the 2009 Asian Continental Chess Championship? Joe Weiki had white pieces and he started with d4. Ho Yifen played e6, c4, d5, so we have the queen's gambit. Knight to f3, knight to f6, knight to c3, and now bishop to b4. The Ragusin defense. This looks like the Nimzo Indian defense, doesn't it? c takes on d5, e takes on d5, bishop to g5, pinning the knight to h6, asking a question, and Joe Wiki captured the knight. Queen takes on f6, white to move, queen to b3 was played. If queen to a4 check, then knight to c6. Joe Wakey played queen to b3, forking the bishop and the pawn on d5. c5. d takes on c5, and now not bishop takes on c5, but bishop takes on c3 check. Pawn takes bishop, and white is a pawn up. Ho Yifen castled kingside, knight to d4. Note that the white queen is preventing the black light square bishop to be developed. Surprise, surprise! Bishop to e6, giving up the second pawn. Queen takes on b7, attacking the rook. Knight to d7. And white is now two pawns up and has a potentially dangerous pass pawn. On the negative side, white is behind in the development. c6, rook from a to b8, queen takes on a7, white is now three pawns up and threatening to take the knight. Rook to a8, queen to c7, knight to e5, e3, intending to develop the bishop and castle king's side. Rook from f to c8, queen to b6. Rook from c to b8, queen to c5. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Ho Yifen played rook to b2, and white has no time to develop the light squared bishop, believe it or not. f4 was played. Attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this amazing move? Rook takes on g2. What a move. Why to move? Joe Wakey castle at the queen side. Let's take it back. And let's take it back to this position. So in this position, if white played bishop to e2, then Ho Yifen intended knight to d3, check, fork in the queen and the king, and your bishop takes knight, then queen takes on f2, check, winning the game. Back to our game. So in this position, f4, rook takes on g2, castling queen side, if bishop takes on g2, then knight to d3 check, and black wins the queen. And if in this position, instead of castling, bishop to e2, then knight to c4, with many threats. So, Joe Wakey castled queen side. This looks a bit strange, but believe it or not, other moves are losing even quicker. Rook from g takes on a2. Bishop to e2, knight to c4. Bishop takes knight, d takes on c4. Rook from h to g1. Rook to a1, check. King to d2. Rook from 8 to a2, check. Knight to c2, black. Play the move and white resigned, and the move is rook takes rook, check. Wake resigned. If king takes on d1, then the queen takes on c3, threatening queen takes knight. If rook to g2 defending, 
then bishop to g4 check rook takes bishop queen takes knight check king to e1 rook to a1 check mate and let's go back if in this position rook takes rook then queen to g6 and after rook to c1 queen to g2 check king to d1 bishop to g4 check king to e1 queen to e2 check mate amazing skills by Ho Yifen. what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now